good morning or should I say good afternoon because I think by the time this video goes up it's gonna be like the afternoon so happy Sunday let's just say that so today I was actually gonna do my vanity chat Sunday but I changed my mind because I wanted to do a full face of drugstore and affordable makeup doing another fall look with you guys and I know when I do my vanity chat Sundays it's hard for you to actually see like the true quality of the makeup so instead of doing that today we're gonna be doing a full face of drugstore and affordable makeup so I'm gonna start from beginning like way 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 in the beginning because I literally just washed my face but I want to do a face mask really quick with you guys and this is the revolution Ole Vera and water lily face mask I hauled this in my um my Ulta haul a while back and I don't think I've shared it anymore ever since then but I just want to do this on my face really quick I have been using this but I haven't really talked about it so this mask really let's see what can I compare it to there's really not a mask that I can compare this to because I feel like this is definitely so far has been like one of the kind that I've tried out from the drugstore but just to kind of give you guys an idea of what the mask like how it works on my skin it does leave my skin feeling hydrated so um it definitely makes my skin feel really really nice and by the way the brush that i'm using is also by revolution so um i'll link everything that i'm using in my description my hair is getting everywhere but yeah i like to use this mask before i go in sometimes before i go into my makeup because it does leave my skin feeling really really soft really hydrated it doesn't dry out my skin and i like to use it either at nighttime or before i do my makeup but again this is the revolution Ole Vera and Water Lily face mask it does have like a minty scent and it also feels really cooling on your skin so it's really 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 refreshing if you're looking for an affordable mask that's going to make your skin feel hydrated make it feel refreshed make it give it that nice what is it i guess glow within look so this is a really nice mask to use if you guys are wanting to try out anything that's super affordable i think this was like under ten dollars from ulta so definitely try this out if you haven't already but right now i'm just gonna let it sit on my skin for a few minutes so while this sits on the skin i guess i'll talk about some of the products that i'm going to be using today i'm finally going to try out the elf watermelon gel moisturizer and also the um jelly pop dew primer on camera with you guys so these are actually the only two new no actually i have one more well two more new products so the maybelline super stay full coverage concealer and also the new flesh beauty liquid foundation now i wouldn't consider this foundation drugstore um and i know this video is all about drugstore and affordable products but it's not expensive so i would say this is kind of sort of affordable but i really wanted to try this out on camera with you guys so we're gonna be using that and everything else is not new those are just the only four new products that i'm gonna use today but yeah can't wait to create another fall look with you guys. I've already done my first fall makeup tutorial, which was my most recent video. And that was using the new Anastasia Norvina collection. But today I pulled out some, something a little different. So I'm not gonna tell you guys yet what colors I'm gonna use because it's a color that I don't really see many people do when it comes down to like fall makeup tutorials because I'm always seeing orange, red, burgundies, brown. So I wanted to switch it up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face off and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I always like to air dry my face instead of putting um, like anything on my skin like a face cloth or rag or any type of towel or which is the same thing, but you know, napkins. I don't know i just like to face dry um air dry my skin versus putting something on my face it's just me all right so now that my skin is fully dry we can go ahead and get into this tutorial so the first thing i'm using is the jelly pop moisturizer by elf it still has a sticker on it so 
me try to take it off. All right, so we finally got it off. Let's squirt it out and see. Ooh, this smells, mm, it smells good. And it feels like nothing. <laughs> it feels like I'm rubbing water on my face. It's so thin, like extra thin. It's thinner than um, the Tatcha water cream. And y'all know that feels like water on your face but it feels thinner than that like it's not i don't know it just feels super thin and the jelly feel i feel like it feels more so like water than it does like a a gel consistency but it's on there but now that we have that on let's go ahead and dip into the primer this is the dewy primer haven't used this since i hauled it and i know it's been a while so we're finally trying this out this has it doesn't really have a scent unless i'm still smelling the the moisturizer but it feels really similar to the milk hydro grip like you know how it has that kind of like that thick creamy texture it oh yeah like it yeah it feels just like the milk hydro grip primer it gets sticky just like it okay this may be a dupe to that like for real for real all right i'm gonna let all of this sit on my skin and i'm gonna go ahead and go to my brows so I'll go ahead and do that and we will get back into the makeup. All right, so I went ahead and finished up my brows for the most part, but the brow pencil I used was this one by Revolution Pro. I've been using this for the past month, almost two months, and I just can't get enough of this. But this is a really good, precise brow pencil and it's super duper affordable. And I got it from Ulta. But let me tell y'all about this primer before we go into the foundation. I think this is actually more sticky on the face than the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk. So I don't know how, um, you know, obviously I don't know how it's going to wear on my skin with my makeup, but my first impression on this primer is definitely more sticky on the skin than the um, Milk Hydro Grip. So I'm assuming this is gonna definitely grip the makeup but um i don't know we'll see how you know how everything is gonna wear but so far just to kind of compare the two the one by elf is definitely more sticky more tacky on the skin than the milk anyway let's play with the new flesh foundation i got the shade cinnamon and this is the same shade that i use in their um their foundation stick which i've already done a review on that about what almost two years ago or maybe a year ago when they came out with a foundation stick but they have liquid foundations so we're gonna see how this is going to look on my skin I'm gonna pump out a couple of pumps to see the color so there's a color right there I don't know let's see if this works I'm just gonna take my Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge and work this into the skin okay so the color looks pretty good okay yeah this primer is pretty sticky like i can feel it yeah this ooh, and it's making the foundation look patchy too like it's not blending out all the way this may be something i have to use with a brush so I'm gonna use a brush with this. I rarely use brushes with my foundation, but I'll see how, you know, how this is gonna look. I'm gonna take my flat Kabuki brush. This is from my brush set, and I'm just gonna buff it into the skin like this. It definitely looks more pigmented with the brush too. Yeah, it's so much better applying this with the brush on top of that primer because my face is so freaking sticky. 
That's crazy. But as far as how this foundation is looking, how it's blending, it looks like something that I could build up. It's not really giving me an extra full coverage, but the finish looks really, really nice and natural. I may like this better than the foundation stick. I felt like the foundation stick was too thick. I don't know if you guys remember me doing that review, but the foundation stick to me was a little bit too thick for my liking, but I do like how this is looking. It definitely looks a little dewy. So if you're not into the dewy foundations, I don't know if you'll like this, but so far it's giving me like a dewy skin like finish and the color isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's actually a nice color. It matches my neck, my chest. It doesn't even say on here like what type of finish this foundation is. Like it doesn't say if it's a dewy foundation or a matte foundation. Usually it would say it on the packaging, but it does not. But I mean, from what I'm seeing, it looks like a luminous dewy foundation. So, okay, so let's try out the new Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. I picked up the shade Tan and I grabbed it from Target. So if you have a nearby Target, definitely see if you can find this. But yeah, so let's try it out and see how it looks on the skin. Okay, the color is not bad at all. Looks like a color that I would definitely gravitate towards. By the way, the packaging comes in like a squeeze tube and then there's a doe foot applicator on the little wand. So let me blend this out and see what this is gonna look like. Okay. Hmm. I think I like it. I think I like it. It definitely is a good color and it blended out really nice. Okay. This may be something good. All right, so we are nicely blended. I'm gonna try out the new CoverGirl setting powder and I'm gonna use the shade Translucent today. So let's see if this is any good. And it does come with a nice little puff puff, which I never use. Now, one thing I don't like about this packaging is the top does not screw on. You just pull it off like this and then just push it back on. So I'd rather have something where the top screws on because I don't know, that's just me. But let me see how this is going to look. I usually like using mattifying um, powders, so I don't know if this is going to be anything mattifying. It looks pretty light. Let me see if I can blend it in. Oh. I don't know about this, you guys. This looks like an illuminating setting powder. Uh-uh. This is not going to work for me as an under eye setting powder. but. Since I have it on, I'll do the other side, but I'm not gonna put it on my forehead, my nose, or my chin because, yeah, this is definitely a powder that I would not use to set my concealer because it is definitely illuminating. Like, you can see the glow, the shimmer. Pretty sure you can't see it right here, but I can definitely see it setting my concealer so I think this will be nice to lightly dust on your face but and then again it'll be too light for me to do that but this is definitely one of those powders that I would not use to set my under eye because I feel like it's not gonna keep it I don't know I don't know let's just see let me just see how it works I'm not gonna do my T-zone with it, but I'll just at least keep it right here. And I'm just gonna use my um, Thrive Cosmetics setting powder for the rest of my face. Well, the rest of the areas that I used concealer. 
Next, I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Superstay Pressed Foundation Powder. This is in the shade 355. And I'm just gonna lightly dust this um, pretty much everywhere that I did not apply this, uh, the loose setting powder. So right in this area, my forehead, and then lightly kind of even out my skin with it. This just sets that foundation and it also evens everything out. So just buffing out or just buffing away the loose setting powder. See how it just made everything look more together, like smooth and all of that. Now I'm gonna go back into my brows and just um, even out the inner part with the spoolie on the brow pencil. Just brush it like this. Okay, so to warm up my face, because it is looking a little flat from all the powders, I'm gonna take this Black Radiance um, Pressed Powder in the shade Ebony. And I like to use this as my bronzer. See how it just brings warmth back into my skin, more dimension. Mm, love this stuff. And I'm gonna take a little bit of it down the side of my nose. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of my translucent powder and just um, bake the side of my nose before we go into our eyeshadow. The colors that I wanna do today is navy blue. And I know we always see like browns, reds, orange, yellow colors for the fall time, but I don't really see a lot of navy blue looks for like fall makeup tutorials. So I pulled out these are not from the drugstore, but they are affordable. And these are these single shadows by Sephora. So I have this one in the shade Dark Ocean and then this one in the shade Morning Sunrise. So Morning Sunrise is gonna be my transition color. And then Dark Ocean, this is gonna be our lid color. So we're going for an all matte fall look today. And I do have two other colors. So if you, one, don't wanna spend the extra coin for these, but you want something cheaper, um, I have these two by L'Oreal. These are the little single shadows, but the color is not like exactly, exactly, exactly spot on to the shades that I'm using today, but it's a little similar. The blue is more vibrant and it's not like a true matte. I'll swatch it so y'all can see how it looks. This is more like a metallic blue. And then the matte shade from Sephora is definitely <laughs> like, this is like day and night. It's not exactly like, yeah, this is definitely different, but I mean, you know, the idea is kind of the same. And then I have this one by L'Oreal. This one is in the shade Acro. And this one is a matte, like this is a matte color. It's not like a metallic or anything. It's a true matte shade. And then the one by Sephora in the shade Morning Sunrise. I think this is really, really close to it. Oh yeah, this is like exactly like it right there. But the blues are different. It's just hard for me to find like a true matte navy blue from the drugstore. If you guys have one, if you know a good one let me know because i would love to find a true matte navy blue from the drugstore but anyway going into morning sunrise again this will be our transition shade and i'm using my morphe m504 brush and we're going to put this in the crease Now we're gonna take Dark Ocean and just pretty much place this all over my lid and I'm taking another M504. This is a brand new one, so it's not really um, as fluffy because I haven't used it yet. I'm just gonna pack this color all over my lid like this. And to make it look darker like I'm doing, I'm just going back in picking up more color and just packing it on my lid. So now I'm gonna take Morning Sunrise again and dipping that brush, the M504. You can use whatever brush you want, but I just prefer to use 
this brush with a lot of my looks but I'm just gonna go into the crease with this color and just kind of blend the blue into the the crease and just kind of blend those two colors together so they can look more seamless then going back into that blue we're just gonna keep building and i'm just packing it again on the lid because we kind of lost some of the color once we started blending and again going back into the crease color and doing the same thing just blending it into the crease trying not to touch the lid too much because we don't want most of that color to blend away all right so i think that's good i think that's good now i'm gonna go ahead and take that same blue from the sephora shadow in the shade dark ocean and i'm going to blend my bottom lash line with it just to kind of make it more smoky more you know more put together and I'm also gonna go ahead and apply some lashes a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back all right so we're done with the eyes I'm not even gonna go in with inner corner highlight because I like how this looks I like the dark grungy like this just looks good without the inner corner highlight so blush oh by the way let me go ahead and dust away this powder and also kind of blend in my contour on my nose okay so going back into the blush we're gonna take the new NYX sweet cheeks blush in the shade bang bang and then for highlighter I'm taking my wet n wild highlighter in the shade awesome blossom and this is a really pretty gold highlight and lately I've been kind of putting some right here on my brow bone just to kind of give it that extra pop and then on my forehead and then a little bit down the center of my nose right here so before we go into the lips, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face a little bit with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, so the lips, I'm going to take a lip pencil. This is the NYX Suede Pencil in the shade Cold Brew. I think this is the same one that I used in my recent video. And I'm just going to line my lips. I'm pretty much gonna use this as my all over lip color because I like the color. So I'm gonna wipe off some of that lip balm that I had on earlier. Cause I want like a matte lip. And I love how this looks as like an all over lip color. Then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal lipstick in the shade He Think He's Macho. I think this is gonna be my go-to lip combination for the fall. So this is the same lipstick that I used in my recent video as well. And I'm just gonna lightly apply this all over the lips. Okay, I want the lips to look a little bit more darker and more brown. So I'm gonna kinda blot it or take some of that product off. And I'm gonna go over it with this lip liner this is the color pop lip um lip liner in the shade bff4 and this is more of a dark chocolate color and i'm just gonna go over everything with this because i didn't know it would look that red and i'm wanting more of a brown like a brown lip actually let me take this off let me take this whole lip off and start over yeah, I just want something that's not like too, like I don't want it to pull red with the blue. I want more so of like a blue eye, like a navy blue eye and a brown, like a true brown lip. So let me go over. So let's just start over. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lip Pencil, BFF4. 
Yeah, this is better. And then for the center of my lips, I'm gonna take the Revolution Pro Lipstick in the shade Cashmere. And this is a lighter nude color. So. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it right here. Mm. This looks so freaking good. All right, guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this fall affordable drugstore makeup look. I'm actually going to check back later on so y'all can see how the face held up. So it was around 1030 when I first started filming the video and applying everything on the face. So I will check back so you guys can see how it looks by the end of the day. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But as far as how I feel about the products right now, um, so far so good. I just don't know if I will like the CoverGirl setting powder because it does kind of give me that glow underneath my eyes. If you have really dry eyes, then this will probably work for you. But I don't know how this is going to hold up. But we will see later on at the end of the video how everything is looking. But so far, everything else looks really, really nice on the face. Um, the foundation looks good. The primer is just really, really sticky, like I said earlier. But... We're going to see how it keeps everything in place. So you will see that at the end of today's video. But other than that, I'm really liking how it came out. I like the blue with the brown. But yeah, that's all that I have for right now. And I guess I will see you guys later on. All right, guys. So I am back and I'm ready to go ahead and wash my face because I'm tired. And I'm just ready to go ahead and take everything off. But the time is... 4 11 p.m. So I feel like I've had it on for a good amount of time to at least talk about or give you guys a review on a couple of these new products. Let's talk about the powder first because this is the one that was that I was kind of questioning earlier and I didn't know if I would like it but surprisingly I like it. I was thinking by the end of the day it will look more shiny or greasy since it is kind of like a um I don't know it just looks like an illuminating powder once i put it on my concealer because i can see like a little bit of the sheen or glow that it gave but if you have dry skin i think this will be great for you um it's just i don't see myself using this on my t-zone i'll probably continue to use it as my under eye setting powder because surprisingly it still has like it doesn't have any creasing under there it still looks really nice and soft and airbrushed under there. So I'm not mad at that. So, so far this is okay. I'm not gonna say it's great or I love it yet because I still wanna continue to use it. And I also wanna use it with other concealers, other foundations, just to see if it still holds up as nice as it does with the um, Maybelline concealer. Speaking of the Maybelline concealer, so far I am liking this. Um, I like how it was so easy to blend out. I like the coverage. I like the color. I like how it does not look cakey under my eyes, even though it is a full coverage concealer. So, so far I am liking the concealer. And of course, I'll continue to use it with um, other products and also give you guys a, um, what do you call those? Follow up on those products. But the next new product I used was the foundation. I think it held up really nice. It does still look nice, natural on my skin. I am getting pretty oily right here, but this is like, that's just all the time. I have a super oily T-zone, so. And also I didn't use any, um, you know what, now that I think about it, I didn't even use any mattifying primers and it still looks like my skin still looks good, especially in this area, but I do like how it lasted. I like how the coverage is. It's very natural looking. You can definitely build this up if you want to. So the finish is really nice. And the primer I think had a lot to do with pretty much my entire face. So it does keep everything in place. Everything is like, it doesn't look like there's nothing separating, especially around this area. Let me look up close just to make sure. Yeah, so nothing. Is separating so this definitely held everything in place the face doesn't feel sticky now that I have everything on but before I started applying my foundation all of that my face was really 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 sticky so 
this is definitely um, gonna give you more of a tacky feel than the milk hydro grip primer but if I had to say um, I guess just to compare it to that it's very similar it's just more sticky or more tacky than the milk hydro grip but it does um, help with the longevity of my makeup which I am impressed with what else did I use that was new um, that I have not touched base on? oh the moisturizer it is hydrating but it does dry down really 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 fast on my skin so this is great to use under makeup I think this will be nice to use by itself but the only thing about that is I feel like I would have to have something else on top of it since it did kind of soak in really fast and it just I don't know I just felt like I needed something else on top of this because it's so thin and it just I don't know it just feels like I have water on my face so so far it's good um great I'd say great under makeup because it's not heavy it's really lightweight I think it'll be great to use year round spring summer winter fall um but yeah I mean that's that about that and that's I think that's all the new products that I use in today's video that I wanted to kind of touch base on and give you guys my review on but other than that I am liking the look that I came up with so let me know if you guys have used any of the products that I shared what are your thoughts oh by the way we are doing a monthly giveaway as always and it's finally a new month so that means a new box so if you're new every single month I give away one box to one person and it's super easy to enter all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section and I don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway let's talk about the products that I shared in today's video let's talk about what is your favorite color as far as a fall makeup look like what is your go-to color when it comes down to makeup for the fall time so but yes that is all that I have I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye